What I've done is uh, just place all the gauges kind of randomly in my touchscreen monitors. There's no real rhyme or reason. I just put them up there in the full scale size just to show you how they work. Up on the overhead here, I have uh, a few more. Let's just look at how some of these work. Most of the switches work kind of like this. You just can push them the way you want them to go. It's actually just a touch that moves them, but if you want to move them in, a, in the way that you're moving them, it seems a little more realistic. So we turn these off and on. Now all the light switches, all the uh, light warning lights on the cockpit are pressed to test. So if you push them, they come on until you release them, just like in the airplane. Now the crossfeed I have just as a touch switch. In reality, it would be rotated, but since there's only two positions, I made it a touch switch. Uh, let's look at uh, something here on the pressurization. Let's look at this knob right here. You can see as I touch it, it gets highlighted, so I can just move my finger around to adjust it. The trick is to touch the knob and get outside the diameter of the knob, and then you can move it. Same thing with these knobs here. They can be rotated. Uh, now this is a switch has two positions. So if you touch to the right, it'll move to the right position. When you release it, it comes back. Push to the left, it goes to that position, comes back. That's the outflow valve. Again, the hydraulic switches are the same. Um, the uh, start switches, again, now this is a, a not a momentary, so if I touch to the right side, it moves to the right. If I touch to the left, it moves one position to the left. Touch it again to the left, it moves farther to the left. So it takes two touches to move it, one for each step. You can see, let's do that a little closer. One, two, one, two. And that's how most of the uh, three position switches work. Another example of a three position switch is uh, the logo light. Let's look at that. See that position is up. If I touch down, it goes one position. Touch it again, it goes to the lower. Touch it up, it goes to the center and up. So that's how I worked all these three position switches. So it's somewhat realistic, I think. Uh, now, a lot of these switches over here are just two position switches, so there again, you can move it up and down just by touching it. Uh, I showed this on one of my videos. This is the little paddle for controlling the, uh, the lights. The way that works is when you touch the paddle, it goes to the down position, and it stays there until you release it, because you would have to hold that up. So you can see I can turn these switches off. Now these are three position switches, so it takes two, two, two touches to get it to the closed position. One touch. But one touch to the paddle pushes it down. When I release it, it goes back up. The switches stay in that position. Now some of these guarded switches, the way they work is you touch once. Let's you look at the alternate flaps. You touch it once to bring it to the uh, open, and then this one is a two position switch. So it works just the same, a touch. And to close the guard, you just touch the guard and it goes back into its normal position. Let's look at the spoilers here. Again, we touch the guard, two positions, up, down. Now some of the switches, like this flight control switch, it has three positions, so touch the guard to open it. And there again, it's one touch up to the center position, another touch up to the up position, second touch here down, so basically touch on the side of the switch in the direction you want it to move, and that's the way that works. Um, some of the switches, like the alternate flaps, they're again momentary switches. You hold them down, hold them, and hold them up. You can see I touch it and it goes up, touch it and it goes down, but those have to be held. Just like these buttons, a lot of these buttons you push them, you can see it goes in visually and it releases, so that's how those work. Looking around here, there's a few, a few knobs that are just pure knobs like the temperature control. You touch that and you can rotate that in an infinite number of positions. It's actually rotating the knob around. 
So until it reaches its limit, you can just turn it around. Um, this knob has, this is a knob with a bunch of positions. So I can touch the knob, get outside the control, and I can step all the way around to all the positions that are available. Uh, again, the overheat test, it's one of those things where we put it, we have to hold it up, so it's, it's a momentary, so I touch above and it holds the switch up. I release, it goes down. In the power test, same thing, down and release. So that's basically uh, all the possibilities, I think, just about all the possibilities for switches that are on the panel. 